Well, if I can't sleep, I might as well talk to myself at fucking four in the morning. So recently I got a lot of movies. I bought a lot of movies, animated movies from my childhood. Mostly DreamWorks. Uh, I, I've said it before. I have a soft spot for DreamWorks movies, whether they're good or bad. In my opinion, they're all good. And there are a few that are, what, really? Like, what I never understood was Over the Hedge. It's a good movie, but I never understood, like, may, I, I don't even want to get into that. Because I'm not really going to talk about the quality. I mean, to a point, yeah, quality. But I'm not going to nitpick on DreamWorks or even Disney. That being said, I, I couldn't sleep. So I just started watching them. Uh, the ones that I can see right now, I have a shitload of them. But the ones I can see right now are uh, Spirit, uh, Flushed Away, and the three pack, which is El Dorado, Sinbad, and Joseph, the King of Thieves. Now, I was watching them and I thought to myself, why don't animation companies, animation studios, make 2D animation movies anymore? When 2D animation movies stop coming out, in my opinion, that's when cartoons or good 2D animation die. I know we all remember going to fucking to the movies. Uh, the, I don't remember. No, I, actually, I do remember. I remember. The first animated movie I saw in theaters was Tarzan, and I fucking I, I actually have that movie. I'm looking at it right now. I fucking love that movie. It, it might be Disney, but I still fucking love it. Don't don't get me wrong. I love Disney movies. I for some people for some reason people keep thinking that I hate Disney. I don't. I just hate that they own Marvel and Star Wars. And they're soon going to own Fox, too. But that's something completely different. And I think something that I really loved from Disney and DreamWorks was the fact that they made 2D animation. I, I've always loved 2D animation. Whether it was old, new, unknown, popular, the fucking Looney Tunes, Tom and Jerry, Popeye. Uh, let me see if I can name old cartoons from like fucking years decades ago let's see tom and jerry popeye looney tunes old mickey or whatever cartoons disney cartoons um that, that there's just a lot i don't know why i chose Di uh, dreamworks over disney i i really don't maybe it's i i can't say because i was gonna say that maybe it's um disney not disney dreamworks is more family orientated like but so is Disney, but like the way I'm trying to say it, it makes sense in my mind. I just can't say it. Like I don't know how to word it. Okay, let's put it like this: Disney is family orientated by, you could say, bringing families together, and DreamWorks also does that. But I want to say DreamWorks actually caters a little more to the parents or to adults than Disney. Which makes sense, because DreamWorks didn't flat out say we care about our family image. Like those fuckers make R-rated movies: Sweeney Todd, Gladiator. Um, what's another one that I read? Oh, uh, fucking the World War Two. Uh, fuck, brain fart. Um, Saving Private Ryan. There we go. That's DreamWorks. Those. I, there's. I'm pretty sure there's more R-rated DreamWorks movies. So. I think that's like a little bit of an advantage that DreamWorks has. Like they can cater a little more freely to adults than Disney can. Like maybe Disney might throw in one or two jokes a movie or not even like one or two jokes a movie. Like let's say in Frozen, that fucking dick joke about the man's foot. That was the last joke I remember hearing and actually catching on right away from a Disney film. Pixar or Disney, Disney, I don't really get the fucking difference. I mean, they're both owned by Disney, so fuck it. And in fucking um, DreamWorks movies, the latest DreamWorks movie I've seen is Boss Baby. I haven't seen Captain Underpants yet. I just never got around to it. It's on Netflix, I just haven't got around to it. But I remember hearing so many fucking sexual innuendos in... in uh, boss baby when i want to go watch it i, I think like i'll link it down i know i have a, like a review or 
whatever I did like the next day. I'll, I'll link it down. But uh, I remember hearing so many sexual innuendos, not just like sexual, like adult great jokes. I kind of like drifted off, but I'm gonna get back to to the animation. Don't worry. That's probably one of the reasons why I've always loved DreamWorks more than Disney. I probably sound like a broken fucking record right now saying that over and over. But I don't give a fuck what you think about me. But another thing that I... I maybe it's the vibe of the movies itself. Like, it's just something you feel. Because I think only with two movies, I felt like an actual connection to the movie. Like, it's weird. I don't know how to say it. I might sound like a little too... Puto-ish, like too sentimental, but the only two movies where I actually felt connected to the movie are Tarzan and Lion King. But with fucking DreamWorks, the movies, oh my god. El Dorado is my all-time favorite animated movie, and that's not gonna change. That is, that is, no, that's not the first DreamWorks movie I've seen, but it's the first one I remember watching completely. I think the first one I ever saw was Ants. But I was fucking, what, four years old? It came out in 97, 98? I was born in 94. Three, four, like around four years old when I watched it. El Dorado came out in 2000. I was six, so I, I kind of had consciousness about what the fuck was going on. I don't know why I love El Dorado so much. Probably because it's the first one I remember. It, it has a fucking special place in my heart. My dead heart. Okay, now let's go back to the 2D portion of this conversation the reason i'm mentioning 2d is because we all know that disney is the fucking godfather of animation right now those fuckers put out two to three movies yearly and whenever they don't put out not counting the fucking live action that i don't really count that that's those are just remakes of classic anime some of them are pretty good i'll, I'll give them that some of them are pretty good i don't really count those as there are Disney movies, but not animated. I'm, I'm talking like Pixar movies or uh, Walt Disney Studios movies like fucking Frozen, Toy Story, that kind of shit. Those motherfuckers have been putting movies year after year. And um, well, because DreamWorks, I think, is now owned by Universal or so distribution deal or some shit like that. I don't know. Which is confusing as fuck because if, I, if I'm... Correct. DreamWorks Animation is one part of DreamWorks and DreamWorks Studios is another part. DreamWorks Animation is licensed or, or distributed by Universal, which in my opinion, I think that means owning them, I don't know. And DreamWorks Studios is owned by Amblin and Amblin, the parent company of Amblin is Warner Brothers if I'm not mistaken. Which means they own DreamWorks Studio. I, I don't fucking understand that. I When I read that, I'm like, what? But besides that, that has nothing to do with it. I just wanted to point that out because it confuses the fuck out of me. 2D animation should come back. And I might sound biased, probably because I am, and I'll admit it. But DreamWorks should start making 2D animation movie if they really want to catch up to the fame and popularity of Disney. The only 2D animations that I know for sure are anime. And don't get me wrong. I don't hate anime. I just don't like it. I'm not going to be a hypocrite and say because there's one, one fucking anime movie that I actually liked. And that is your name. I'm not going to say the fucking Japanese name because it sounds like a tongue twister. But... To me, at least. But if you know what the fuck I'm talking about, the Your Name, that movie made me cry like a bitch. And I'll admit it. I don't know what it is about fucking Japanese people getting way into their animation style and making you fucking pulling your, your heartstrings and shit. It was a good movie. It was a great movie, actually. The only anime movie I've seen, I'll give it a 10 out of 10. Easy. But besides that, DreamWorks, I really, really believe DreamWorks should start making 2D animation again. Now, I've read online and I've heard many people say that 2D animation actually costs more than like 3D animation, which is probably why it died out and only sticks to like TV shows, cartoons, because 
those are only 30, 40 minute long video episodes. It's not like fucking two hours long or or like a feature length film. So I understand. Costs are way less. And they don't really have to get big name actors. In fact, before Aladdin, big name actors weren't really a part of the cast for 2D animation. He's actually the one who started that shit. So, in a sense, if it got too expensive, probably because you had too many big name actors. But if that wasn't the case, maybe 2D animation, at least in my opinion, that's what I think, would still be around. You see where I'm going with this? The reason why I think DreamWorks should do it is, because, one, number one, because they're behind Disney. And even I'll admit this, I'm pretty sure they always will be. There was a time when they were actually ahead of Disney in the Shrek era. Shrek is the only DreamWorks animation film to actually win an Oscar for Best Animated. In fact, the Best Animation Award was made because they wanted to choose Shrek as the best picture. But they already had chosen for it. I, I'm, I shit you not. Where, was it Screen Rant or... It's one of those fuckers that... That like reviews anime, not, that reviews like list videos and shit. And I remember hearing one of those fucking channels say it, that that's the reason the animated, best animated picture uh, award exists. And I didn't know that. So, DreamWorks did something right with Shrek. The third one was, eh, it was all right, but it did kind of like bah compared to the other. Even the fourth one was a little better than that. But then again, that's like fucking Shrek fanfic. If you really want to go by it, like it's fucking ridiculous. But somehow it made more money than Shrek Three. But to close all this shit up, yeah, I I really do think DreamWorks should make two D animation. If it's too expen, if it's more expensive, and if they really pull it off well, like they did. In my opinion, fucking El Dorado should have been a smash hit, but I, I don't know. Like, I don't know why. It, it actually bombed at the box office. I, I didn't know that. I want to blame Disney because Walt Disney, that fucking snake, he, I call him a snake because that fucker was a snake. Like, it's been on, it's gone on record where he would actually, like, encourage fucking... Uh, um, reporters and shit, interviewers to like not mention like his competition. Like, yeah, it's it's competition, but this motherfucker, like, there's stories I've heard of this motherfucker, like that really, really should ruin the it, Disney's image, but somehow don't. I, I don't I, I don't know how to explain that, but still, it's fucking amazing the shit I've heard. From Walt, about Walt Disney. So in conclusion, motherfuckers. All this shit I just said. Basically dwindles down to me saying. DreamWorks, please fucking please. I know you guys are not going to see this video. I I can, I already came to peace with that. At least one more 2D animation film. Back to your golden age. You motherfuckers did some of the best movies i I known. From 2D animation back when you first started DreamWorks Animation. And uh, I don't know. This might be just one Mexican's opinion. But I'm pretty sure there's at least two or three more people who think the same way I do. But I'm pretty sure I'll never meet them. So, oh well. For now it's just me. And with that I'll say thank you for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you fuckers later.